In this video, I want to show you how you can use the stencil effect of the puzzle generator to uh, convert or bulk convert your image into stencils or image outlines that are possibly suitable for use in a coloring book. So first of all, we want to make sure we're on the puzzle generator tab at the top. Then under stencil effects, you'll notice we have two options. We can apply to selected picture, which as the name suggests, this will apply the stencil effect to your chosen picture and put the stencil effect image next to your original image so you can, can compare the two. Our next option is to apply to all pictures. So what this will do, this will loop through all of our slides and all of our pictures that we choose and turn them into an image outline stencil effect replacing the existing picture. So you can choose to do this in your selected slide or in a slide range, which by default is the entire presentation, but you can of course adjust this if need be. And then hit OK. And we'll just wait for that process to complete. Now it's worth mentioning whilst this is still generating that this is a one click tool. So you will not always get the best results depending on the image. Uh, the simpler the image with the um, clear distinguishable difference between the background and the lines, etc., work best. And I think the best way to use it is to import an absolute ton of images into a PowerPoint presentation, run the stencil effect, and then discard the images that are no good. And as you go through, we can see some images are okay. Others are not so great. But what we can do, and this doesn't always work, but it's worth trying if there is um, only, for example, a small little bit of detail uh, missing, or for example, you have the outside um, detail, but you wanna try and remove some of the inner detail. And what you do is just click on the image that you wanna try it on. And then if we click, right click, and then click Format Image, and then what we're going to do is picture corrections here. And then what we can do is try to adjust the brightness. And what this does, as you can see, is getting rid of a lot of the mess inside, but there still is some blemishes. And this can go the other way as well. So for example, if we have an image that is missing some detail, for example here, what you would do rather than adding brightness is you would subtract further to see if you can get the detail back. As you can see, we get an extra detail, but unfortunately, as it's gone darker, it's filled in uh, the dog's body as a solid black, so that's no good. And then basically, yeah, all you do is, like I said, import them all, one click to quickly um, convert them into stencil images, and then you can either go through one by one, uh, trying to make little tweaks like I am with the brightness, or you can just go through and then delete the images that are no good and obviously keep the ones that are good. So I hope this quick video into the stencil effect of the puzzle generator helps you. And I hope it helps you understand that it is basically a really simple one-click tool and you won't always get the best results. So the best usage is simply to feed it an absolute ton of images and then discard the ones that are no good, basically. I hope that helps you. Thank you for watching.